Alrighty, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to The Walking Dead, where we are going to finish up episode two. First, we're going to talk to good old Danny boy here. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. Yeah. That doesn't make you more creepy, no. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Uh... It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is shot. Oh, God. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. Anyone who names their gun and, you know, starts, like, petting it, get the fuck away from them. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. <laughs> You creepy son of a bitch. Uh, God, I hate Danny. I hate him so much. I don't hate him, he just creeps me the hell out. What's in here? Let's see. Well, yeah, we'll just uh, take this multi tool. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Yes. Borrow. Let's go see if we can check on Clem here. Or, oh, no wait. Hold on a sec. Where the hell are y'all? Larry, you hard ass. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Uh, Danny shot someone, and yeah. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. Don't think so. She was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn, where we at least know what to expect. Yeah, I'm getting that hunch. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Yeah, well... Any suspicious like that? Something going on here. What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, I suppose so. Personally, I don't want to miss him because, you know, Danny's creeping me out. Danny's a creeping me out. Good sentence structure there, Mike. Good job. Alright, Clem. How the hell are you? Okay, Clementine, you can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Tatcha says Mabel could have her baby tonight. Touching this cow is awesome. Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. 
Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love her. She's so cute. Duck. No, you know what? We're talking to Clem first. We're giving Clem her hat first. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh... Sure, someday, I guess. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. <laughs> well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Yes! Oh, I want to pet the cow? Can I pet the cow? Can I talk to Clint? How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Good shit. Like manure. What's, What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. Dr. Katsu? No. Look at the cat. She looks skinny. Skinny cow. Uh -huh -huh. Hi, Andy. Your brother's creeping me out. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Uh, How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. What kind of grub? The grub I'm gonna like or the grub I'm gonna be like, what the fuck is this? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he oughta. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Oh, see? Now you're all suspicious there, sir. Check out the door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Uh, yeah, I'll protect her no matter what, of course. Clementine. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Seems to be a lock. Along with bolts. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. no. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh. You are not saying what I think you're saying. Kenny just went there. Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. This. See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Uh, key to this lock. Find the door. Can he hear? Uh, uh, can he hear a noise? Uh, Kenny thought he heard a noise. Yeah, he's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, 
You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Distract him. Kenny? You gonna help me? I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Alright, good to hear. He's not gonna help. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. No oh, shit. Now we gotta get Andy out of here. Find Woody! Or Buzz. Oh. <laughs> What's that? He's charming her up. Oh, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. He's buttering her up. Hmm. Let's go find out what he's doing. We're gonna be his wingman. Oh yeah. It's like, hey, I noticed you were looking at Larry's muscles. You know what he's using those muscles for? Punching me in the face! Dirtbag. I'm gonna come mess up your game, sir. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. <laughs> You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. I don't think so. He punched me in the face and left me to die. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Let's see, uh, your boy is nuts. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad. She was a scruntled Walmart employee. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. No. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. No. No, she didn't have drugs. She was a bit mental for damn sure. You know, sneaking into our cab, stealing Clem's hat. And, you know, threatening to arrow our balls to a tree, but not drugs, I don't think. How's Mark doing in there? Yeah, how's Mark? We haven't seen him in forever. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'd still like to see him, though. He's kind of my new buddy that, you know, popped up. So... They took an arrow. Don't keep in the barn back there. Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. I do. It's nothing interesting. I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. They gotta go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? No. Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. They're not really peaceful. I mean, the storm's nice, but the overall creepiness and shadiness of you guys is uh, weirding me out. Let's see, where'd Larry go? No, no, no. Can I go talk to Larry? I think. Larry? Are you hitting on Brenda? You can tell your buddy Lee. You know, I kind of hate your guts. But I gave you the axe, so... Kinda even? I don't know. Look at him. It's all like so Larry, embarrassed. Uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? 
bastard. <laughs> uh, he can use that advice himself, I think. Jeez. Alrighty, so let's get Andy out of the barn here. Alrighty. Alright, so first things first, turn it off. That multi tool. There you go. There you go. Hey, quick copy, Mealy. And just take it out. Right? Hey, nope. That thing is all too tight for my bare hands. Okay, so multi tool again, I suppose. There. Yes. And nobody suspicious about that? Well, fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. God, this take forever. I really don't know how anyone else didn't notice that. But, I mean, because Danny's right over there behind us. You got Larry sitting there. You got Brenda up on the hill. Eh. Screw it, video games. That's about the excuse we're gonna get. Okay. Now, Clem, if he starts coming back this way, distract him with your cuteness. So let's, uh. Nope. Never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on this door then. Oh, dinner time. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Oh my god, dinner time! Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. I'm trying. Get out of here. I'm gonna do my urban tactics here. As Kenny so lovingly put. Careful. Careful. I like how he's got his hand on there like he's gonna catch the screw, but then he just... Oh, okay, that time looked like he did. Those first two, uh, I don't know. Not so much. Alrighty. We're breaking in! And! 